For the global economy, the cumulative effect of trade conflicts could mean a loss of around 7 billion US dollars by 2020, or about 0.8% of the GDP. The IMF managing director said at an event at the Global Lenders headquarters ahead of the annual meetings of the IMF in the World Bank next week. The U.S.-China trade conflict has not only increased direct costs on businesses and consumers, but also caused secondary effects such as a loss of confidence and market reactions, said Georgieva, who is the former chief executive officer of the World Bank. Policy priorities, she said, include using monetary policies wisely and enhancing financial stability deploying fiscal tools to meet current challenges, implementing structural reforms for future growth and embracing international cooperation. New research at the IMF confirmed that the carbon taxes can be one of the most powerful and efficient tools, Georgieva said. But the key is to change tax systems, not simply add a new tax, she added. She again called the cooperation express confidence in a better future for all.